Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Carter Blackman, personal trainer. And real quick, before we get started with today's topic, let's make it a goal to get 12 likes on this video. Last video, we broke our goal at 10, which I'm super stoked about, so thank you guys for that. So one of my subscribers, Adam, asked me to make a video about workouts regarding athletic performance. So today, that's what I want to talk about. Oh, hey. Hey, mister. So first, we got to establish what kind of workouts are going to make you a better athlete. And here's the thing that most guys do, you know, they want to get better at football, soccer, or basketball, so they go into the gym and they do bodybuilder style workouts. But guys, bodybuilder style workouts aren't going to make you a better athlete. Going into the gym and doing bench press for a, a pyramid of 12, 10, 8, 6 with 90 seconds to a, 2 minutes of rest in between sets is not going to make you a better athlete. Workouts like that will help you help your muscles grow but that's it. One thing I say when I'm talking to prospects who are interested in personal training is I tell them, I don't just give you muscles that look, I give you muscles that talk. And that's the difference between my type of training program and a bodybuilder style training program. So to increase athletic performance, there are three things we need to work on. One will be strength, two functionality, three cardiovascular, which overall is most important because if you're winded by halftime, then really you have no endurance, you're not, you're not gonna be able to finish the game, right? So. So in today's video, I'm going to kind of show you how I do this for myself and also for my clients training for athletic performance. But what I want you to do is take the information in today's video, take the principles and the concepts, and then apply it in your other workouts, all right? So today is an example circuit for a chest workout. So what we're going to do is start with a compound movement. I'm doing incline dumbbell bench press here, and I don't have a 12 or 15 rep limit. There is no limit. You can set a goal, set a goal for you know 12 or 15 reps, but if you can do more, you do more. If you want to get better at performance, you need to be trained to failure, guys. I can't stress that enough. So once we finish bench press, we need a functional exercise. So what I chose to do were BOSU ball push-ups. So we're going to take the BOSU ball, flip it upside down. One, that throws off our stability. Two, we're still engaging the chest. So that's even better because we're also going to work on our strength and stability at the same time. And three, to make things even better, we're going to throw in a cross kick. So we're going to engage the obliques and the abs here. So first we got the bench press working on strength. Now we're coming in here working on balance and stability as well as strength. So we are trying to work the chest here a little bit, but the main focus is on our core and our stability. So really what you guys need to be focusing on doing is as you bring your leg across your body, you need to be focusing on rotating your hip. Now that we've done those two, we're gonna to go to an isolated movement. But guys, core is so important. We want to keep core engaged wherever we can because we wanna train athletically. So instead of doing a seated cable fly or both cable flies at the same time, we're gonna do single arm. Because what's what that is doing is while I'm isolating my chest really good, it's also throwing off my balance. So my obliques have to come in here and help out to keep my body stable. So I'm gonna do about 12 to 15 reps on each side, focusing on the contraction, but this is also functional because of the balance and stability. All right, so know what you're thinking right now. Connor, we got the strength and the function taken care of, but where's the cardiovascular? Well, doing these in a circuit format is gonna get your heart rate up. That's what's gonna work on your endurance and make you a better athlete. So we're almost doing this like high intensity intervals, okay, because so, you do one exercise immediately after the other. Ideally, rest between rounds should be no more than a minute, but you need to mostly catch your breath before you start the next set because then you're not going to be able to get as many reps. But all right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more, go hit that subscribe button. And if there's something specifically you want to see, let me know in the comments like Adam did, and I'll do my best to answer your question. All right, guys, until next time, peace. It basically means that your body's going to use that protein easier. Now you can get a good five pound tub of protein for about 55 bucks, which may seem a little pricey.